Next up on the Mutual Audio Network, fiction from our future. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This is the Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment Network. Expand your wonder. Strike your colors, you brazen winch. Does this be brazen winch productions? Arr! Project Continuum, Senate Subcommittee Mission Log. Audio version. Senators, please remember this recording is classified top secret. Mobius. And the content should not be removed from these secure chambers. No recording devices, cell phones, or other copying devices are permitted while this audio is playing. Upon completion, please return the container of the recording to the courier. Transcripts provided are for your eyes only. Mission 212B734, the doorway of the Puma. The following is recorded from the Continuum Base, Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana. I've called this briefing because I have a suggestion of where we should look for more evidence of interference or tampering by the bogeys. By all means, speak up. I too am very interested to hear this. As you know, I have a PhD in history. I specialized in ancient South American cultures. Please don't tell me you're about to go off on the Nazca lines. Because I've flown over those things and trust me, they're pretty pictures, but there's no reason to believe aliens came down and put graffiti on the desert. That's not what I was thinking of. Oh good, you surprised me with sudden depth. Knock it off, Buzz. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm a little on edge from nearly being killed by secret society crazies some of whom will probably still hear. We've already put in place new precautions to keep the continuum from being sabotaged again. Besides, all of us in this room have been thoroughly checked out by Connor, including Dr. Alala. She is not her father. Don't judge a book by its cover or a person by their family. Lots of apples fall far from the tree. Not in my experience. When you've been around as long as I have- You've become a judgmental fossil. What are you saying? You're old, pig-headed, and cranky. However, believe it or not, I agree with you. None of us are even mentioning Calvo's body being found with a bullet in his noggin. What are we going to do about that? We have nothing to go on. The bogeys are the immediate threat. Buzz, let's get back on subject. With all the sabotage going around, how do we even know she's not part of it? Dr. Alala hasn't given us any reason to mistrust her. Maybe not this Dr. Alala yet, but... How about we all just cool our jets, boys and girls? Dr. Alala. Why don't you tell us where you thought we should go? I bet she could tell Buzz where she wants him to go. Her first. Enough! Now, I know we're all still on edge, but there's no reason to start bickering amongst ourselves. Those of us in this room need to trust each other or things are going to get bad. Agreed. Please, Doctor, tell us what you were thinking. Puma Punku. Interesting. What the heck is a Puma Polka? Puma Punku is an historical anomaly and a favorite of UFO theorists. It's in Bolivia, and its name means Doorway of the Puma. Great, if it wasn't bad enough we almost got eaten by jaguars in Brazil, now it's gonna be Pumas in Bolivia. I hate South America. Why can't we ever go someplace nice, like Paris in springtime? Says the guy who was in the ship the whole time. Hey, I was just following orders from our fearless leader. Dr. Alala could be onto something. The site has troubled those in the archaeological community for a while. Its construction is a mystery. Ancient alien theorists believe the place was used as a landing site. Great. An interstellar airport. I bet the holiday crush of travelers is insane. I've read about the site. If there's a chance that it is something being used by the bogeys, I think we have no choice but to investigate. Maybe this time, someone will bring me back some samples to study. I said I was sorry about that. Oh yes, you went all the way into the jungle, trekked for days, found the lost city of Z, and didn't even bother to take one look at the ruins. Not one measurement, 
Not one soil or rock sample. Nothing. Tell me again what the point of going there was. Do you even know if these bogeys had an interest in it, or built it, or anything? It was time to get out of there. Oh yes, we can watch crazy people kill each other, but we can't even stop to take one picture! Sharon, l- look. Never mind. Who am I? I'm just the archaeologist who doesn't get to go. I'm just the one who has to research 18 hours a day, every day of the week without any downtime. But no. My contributions don't matter, because everyone is an expert and can tell from one glance, half a mile away, exactly what they're looking at. She does have a point. I'd like to see you do better, but the refit has definitely done some amazing improvements in aerodynamics. Thank you, Buzz. These were all improvements I've been dying to implement. CTC 001-B is my crowning achievement as an aerospace engineer. And I'm sure looking like the Enterprise on the exterior has nothing to do with it. They aren't nacelles, they're jets. So what did happen with CTC 001-A? We don't talk about it. Uh Uh-huh. I told you trying to build a transporter wouldn't work. Eli, you okay? Uh Did your old lady give you a hard time? Come on, people. We're here to do a job. Ace, how's our string? We've got about 16 hours. Okay, so let's move out. Eli, Denise, and Ace can take point on this one. Let me guess. While I babysit the ship. No, you go on. It's my turn to babysit Sally. That okay with you, Sally? Shall we play a game? Be careful how you answer. I've seen that movie. Last I checked, we wanted to save the world, not end it. What is wrong with what I said? Nothing, Sally. A game of chess would be great. So what's so special about this place? It's an engineering marvel. They created interlocking pieces of wall with edges cut into the stone that were so smooth that the few laboratory tests that could have been performed on them could only get a duplicate result when working with a diamond drill. Wow. How were they able to pull that off nearly 1,500 years ago? That's what Dr. Alala wants us to figure out. They also quarried the giant stones 15 miles away downhill. So there's a lot of speculation on how they could have gotten them up the hill. The one theory that we are most interested in is what local legend says. What's that? It says that it was built by a group of outsiders with supernatural powers who made the stones levitate and move through the air until being set down in place using some kind of sound waves. We've seen stranger things. Apparently they carved a whole lot of faces out of stone, representing people from races all over the world that they had no contact with. One of those faces even looks like one of those gray aliens. How do you know all that? I read Sharon's briefing report. You did? Didn't you? How's it looking over there? We can see the complex. We're almost to it. The H-blocks are even bigger than I thought they'd be. It is impressive. Sharon would want to see this. Look, we all know she busted your chops, but... No, you don't understand. Everything we know about this place is wrong. The archaeological community has always believed that the site wasn't completed. It looks pretty well completed to me. Would you look at the size of that? This isn't just a temple complex or some sort. This is a, uh... Interstellar airport. I think so. It's astonishing. The culture that came to the area and built the nearby town came here to worship. They claimed it's where the gods had come down. Aliens. It would appear. This is a monumental discovery. We need to investigate. Take some samples back to study. Guys. You're just looking for an excuse to take something home to Sharon. Guys. I'm not. This is one of the greatest archaeological discoveries of all time. Guys. What? What? This place isn't abandoned. Look. Find cover. (sighs) To 
Did they see us? I don't know how they couldn't have. Okay, now that we know that they're here, we have to make it back to the ship unseen. But why are they here? Shouldn't we try to figure that out? Not if we want to make it out with our skins intact. Doc, are you paying attention? What are you doing? The stones are remarkably smooth, and the precision of these angles, it's all too clean, too uniform, like it was manufactured instead of hand-carved. Admire it later, Doc. We've got problems. Do you know what this means? No, explain it to me later when we're back on the ship. Dr. Alala was right. This was most certainly made using advanced technology. Some of this we might not be able to duplicate now. Those of you who want to hang around and stare at rocks until we die, stay here. Anyone who wants today to not be your last day, come with me. Stop! Do you hear that? Hi there, folks. This is Rita Dilatori. I play Lieutenant Denise Cox on Continuum Force and Agent Cantello in Vampires of Whitechapel. I wanted to invite you all to my new show, Happy Bunny Tales. Happy Bunny Tales is a podcast about finding happiness in your life. Even when things are dark and dreary, there must have been something that made you smile or gave you a tiny slice of joy. That's what we're talking about. Those moments. I'll tell you mine, and I'd love for you to tell me yours. Listen wherever you can find podcasts and at happybunnytales.com. Colonel. What? We need to go. Is the string destabilizing? It could be. What does that mean? I am in danger. We are in danger. What's happening? The ship that just arrived. The bogey? No, the other one. What other one? The one that wants to hurt me. It is angry that I have this knowledge. It wants to take it from me. That's not good. Connor the team. Watch out for a spacecraft that's not the bogeys. It might be connected to the one we saw with Ezekiel. We have eyes on it. It looks similar, but this one is clearly more advanced. Get out of there. Sally wants to go like yesterday. Not yet. We haven't gotten everything we've come for yet. We know it's being used as some sort of port for alien craft. I think that's all we needed. What's happening? The hell of a dogfight. Bogey well, we just spotted the new ship. They're going after it. The new ship is fired on them and the structure. We're pinned down next to the southernmost wall. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Do you want us to fly in and get you? Negative. That'll just put Sally in the crossfire. And right now, I don't think these guys care a whit about collateral damage. I'm not getting any closer. Come on, baby. Don't freak out on me. Why are they trying to destroy the structures? The cool one of destroying an enemy's base? It sure seems like it. We can't just hug this wall forever. This one we can. It's one of the few still standing back in our time. Probably because we're guarding it with our lives. What's that? They're evacuating the base. They'll be moving people out along with vital information. Information we could really use. One of us should break into the laboratory, if there is one. Great, Doc. Thanks for volunteering. Get us something we can use. You mean my big mouth? I don't think burglary was in my contract. You're the only one who has a shot at knowing what might be important. Initiating strength. Stand down, Sally. That's an order. Timeline becoming unstable. String activated to ensure safe arrival back home. No, we can't leave our people out there. They will start scanning me at any moment. I can't handle it again. We need to leave. No. We need to get our friends back. Then we'll string. Connor, are you able to pick us up? That's a negative. You're going to have to rejoin us here. Easier said than done. I'm worried that the whole place is going to topple down around our ears. Ace? Ace? Back from where? We went inside the structure to try and gather some intel about this place and why the bogeys are using it. It is time to go. I order you to return the ship at once. Dr. Scherzberg, can you hear me? Yes. I'm ordering you to get back to the ship, pronto. Hi, Colonel. Wait a minute. Something's happening. What? Bogeys have disengaged and are flying off. What about the new ship? They're lining up with they're going to do a straight run on the complex. Eli, out of there now. On my way. I think I found something that will help. Report. 
Second ship bugged out. He took out most of the structure before he did. And the rest of the team. Present. We're fine. Eli was still in the complex, though. Oh, no. <coughs> I'm okay. Oh, you scared us. I scared me. I think I got something, though. I found a control room, and I grabbed what looks like some kind of data disk. Hopefully, it will give us some answers if we can figure out how to read it. Leave that to me. Nice job! Hey, if you go to an interstellar airport, you have to go and get a souvenir at the gift shop. Funny. Heading back to the ship. Yes, all of you. Back now. We're getting out of here. Ah, uh, there's one more thing I'd like to get. And that is... Incoming arrival. The Continuum has returned to base. The Continuum has returned to base. What in the Sam Hill is that you've drugged with you? I'll let Dr. Scherzberg explain. It's an H-block from Puma Punku. You brought that for me? Yes, I did. Apparently, it's a makeup artifact. He couldn't have just brought flowers? Did you find anything? We sure did. The bogeys were definitely using it as a base. But they were attacked by what looked like something similar to the ship that we saw when we were with Ezekiel. That ship destroyed the site. You, you say they were attacking the bogeys? Yes, sir. Is it possible that ship was one of the Titans? Jason told us that they didn't land on Earth until 2020. That anyone knows about. Uh, it doesn't mean they haven't been here before, and nobody realized it. If it's not them, then what other enemies do our bogeys Dr. have? Dr. Scherzberg, I can't believe you would be so reckless as to take one of those monolithic stones. You've tampered with historical record. Actually, I didn't. Sally, was there any change in historical record regarding the discovery of the excavation of Pumapunku, particularly relating to the number of H-blocks found? The historical record remains unchanged. See? Apparently, I always brought back Sharon 1. I was just keeping the timeline intact. That is so romantic. Hey, you two, get a room. You get lost instead. Dr. Scherzberg was able to retrieve one thing from the complex before it was destroyed. It appears to be a data disk of some sort. Your instincts were right about this place, ma'am. Let's get that data disk read. Top priority. Yes, ma'am. End of record. There hasn't been much progress in reading the data disk to date. However... A closer study of the H-block revealed a type of low-level radiation never seen before on this planet. More study and testing is being undertaken. Please return the audio file containment device to the courier upon exiting the secured room. Continuum Force was created by Transmissions from Atlantis Entertainment. If you like this program and would like it to continue, please consider joining our Patreon. For as little as $1 a month, you can get access to exclusive Patreon content, behind-the-scenes interviews, and footage, as well as early delivery of new episodes and access to episodes that won't be released to the public. The part of Connor Dannard was played by Marcus South. Buzz Borman was played by J.C. De La Torre. Eli was played by Dr. Scott Vigay. Sharon was played by Debbie Begin. Denise Cox was played by Rita Del Torre. CTC Sally was voiced by Calliope Collicott. Ace Barber was played by Jesse Johnson. Husamara Alala was played by Amy Seville. General O'Shaughnessy was played by Boyd Barrett. This episode was written by Dr. Scott Begay. It was produced, directed, and edited by J.C. Del Torre. This episode is a work of fiction. Any similarities to the living or dead, past or present, is purely coincidental. Historical figures events are a mixture of real history and fictionalized content. We encourage you to go to your local library to learn more about Pumapunku and many other historical places. Until next time, thank you for listening to Continue.
There are many things that we can all do that may help stop the spread of the coronavirus. But one thing we can all do is to have a plan in case you do get sick. First, consult with your health care provider for more information about monitoring your health for symptoms suggestive of COVID-19. Second, stay in touch with others by phone or email. You may need to ask for help from friends, family, neighbors, community health workers, or more if you become sick. And finally, determine who can care for you if your caregiver gets sick. For more information, go to cdc.gov and be well, everyone.